good evening, everybody. You can guess by my accent that I was not born in Brazil. I was actually born in the urban jungle of Paris and grew up between Paris and New York. But Brazil has been my home for the last 13 years, and it was a long journey to get there. I cannot remember wanting to do anything else in my life besides work with animals. My first job was as a zookeeper, but after a few years, I yearned to do something, uh, something about animals in the wild. I embarked on a journey that took me through six different countries to work with a diversity of species, communities, lifestyles, and beliefs, and eventually arrived in Brazil. I now dedicate my life to an amazing animal few people have heard of and almost no one has ever seen, the giant armadillo. Now, it's not as big as an elephant and not as famous as the Philippine eagle, nor do they have that cool uh, punk rock star uh, hair of the, the cotton top tamarind, but giant armadillos have taken over my life and I cannot think of a more amazing species. They're like a living fossil. Um, they're covered by a tough armor, and from the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail, they measure five feet and weigh as much as a large Labrador. They have giant claws. The middle, the middle one uh, measures up to six inches. So that's bigger than a claw of a polar bear. Um, they use these claws to rip through ant ants and termite mounds upon which they feed, but they also are very graceful and walk on, on top on, on, on this claw, just like an um, overweight ballerina. <laughs> they are a truly unique and striking species, and we must not lose them. In the past five years, we have learned to work with this secretive species and communicate about it. Thanks to our work, state authorities have selected giant armadillos as one of five indicator species for the creation of protected areas. So this means a species few people knew about just five years ago will now be championing habitat conservation measures. Thanks to the Whitley Award, we are expanding our work to the scrub grasslands and forests of the Cejado to save the last populations of giant armadillos and make them a flagship species for conservation in our state. The award is also bringing recognition uh, and helping us to celebrate this species. As a, former, as a former zookeeper, I'm so grateful to the many zoos who have come together to fund our work. And I also want to um, thank my, my teammates, in particular Danilo Kluber and Gabriel Masukato, um, and of course my wife Patricia, um, who inspires me every day. Thank you so much.